podcasting has been a trending topic for the last few years. Everybody wants to get into the podcasting game. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you my thoughts and how podcasting has helped my brand and my business. Stick around to the end of the video. You don't wanna miss this. Hi there, my name is Eric. If we're meeting for the first time, thanks so much for coming across this video and to this channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. It helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. So I am the host, creator, producer of The Violin Podcast. I am a one-man show when it comes to this podcast. And I do a lot of violin interviews on the podcast. I speak with guests uh, from various genres of violin playing, from uh, jazz, classical, bluegrass, all sorts of different people on this podcast. I've been doing this podcast for over a year and a half, and I have around 28 episodes. So what I've been doing is I've been releasing episodes on a bi-weekly basis, because that's just the way I've been doing it because of my scheduling to not overwhelm myself with a lot of episodes. You know, I don't have a team to help me produce an episode a week. So for me to be able to do the marketing, the producing, the scheduling of the guests, all that sort of stuff, I do it once every two weeks. And podcasting has really helped establish a lot of positives in my in my teaching in my playing and if you haven't guessed already i am a violinist based on this i'm the host of the violin podcast you know having this podcast has really helped me uh be credible in my field of violin playing and in the classical music world when you have a business having a podcast is you know it costs almost next to nothing to to produce and create a podcast all we're going to pay for is the time but it has a lot of benefits down the road so you may be thinking about starting a podcast right now and you're like yeah i'm not really sure is podcasting the right thing for me it's never too late to start one and i encourage you to start a podcast for the three following reasons. Number one is that it helps establish your credibility in your field, in your industry, and in your niche. So for me, I went very, very niche. I am the host of The Violin Podcast. You know, it's like a picture's worth a thousand words. I feel like the name itself just speaks for itself. The Violin Podcast. I know that this is gonna be a podcast about violin, anything related to the violin. And the people who are searching for music interviews or violin-specific content, you know, they're just gonna type in Violin Podcast and it's gonna be on every single podcast platform of their choosing, whether it's Spotify Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon, you know, the list goes on. It has helped me create credibility in this violin niche because I talk to people in the violin world to talk about, you know, practice tips and um, performance anxiety, to name a couple. You know, there are so many things that we talk about surrounding the violin and that's something that is directly to what I do. I am a violinist, I teach, I perform, play chamber music, I play all sorts of different kinds of recording sessions. So I wanted to create a podcast where I can talk to people related to my niche. Another thing that has helped me in the world of podcasting and in the world of you know growing my business and building my business is the industry professionals that I speak to to help my audience get a lot of value. Whether it's practice tips, whether it's just sharing their story um, as a musician, as a violinist, you know, I get to speak with them regarding their journey, regarding their experience. And actually, what I've learned within the last year and a half after 28 episodes of like really intense research for, you know, the right guests and whatnot, I've learned that I'm learning from these guests and I've actually applied a lot of what these guests have said into my teaching, into my music career. That's what's so beautiful about podcasting because if you're interviewing or if you're constantly researching different areas or different topics related to your niche, you are growing as a person and you're growing as a business and you're getting different points of views to help um, with your customer base, with your audience, etc. Again, it establishes your credibility by continuing to do these episodes in the very specific niche and you're interviewing, you know, 
highly acclaimed people in that specific niche, all of a sudden you become the connection. You become the resource that people are going to want to listen to and subscribe to. And if you haven't done so already, again, if you could please hit that subscribe button, I would really, really appreciate it. Last but not least, the, the beautiful thing about podcasting is that you will eventually establish your credibility and your niche and people as a result and brands are gonna reach out to you for sponsorships and free products for you to review for them. And uh, that has happened to me a few times actually to talk about a certain product on the Violin Podcast or actually do a video on my personal YouTube channel, which is this channel, to talk about a product, to um, really describe to my audience what this product's all about. And it has really helped, again, see what's out there to help recommend the right products for my, for my audience. So that is something that um, I wanna encourage you to try if you're in the beginning stages. Don't feel discouraged that you're not gonna get free products and to review those free products. You have to build that credibility and you have to create that momentum for yourself to be able to get all these endorsements, get the sponsorships and whatnot. And you know, for me, I'm a violinist and I have no, tech experience in terms of like, you know, the digital marketing. And I mean, I do have some marketing experience when it comes to like social media and whatnot, but when it comes to podcasting, I have no idea. So I literally just started because um, I wanted to create value. I wanted to interview interesting people and I wanted to help create a more um, awareness for, for myself as a violinist for my brand. You can start a podcast today. It is not hard and you can, if even if it's a something that you're just trying, you know, try it. And if it actually becomes something that people will resonate with, then you know, then you're onto something and it's going to help again, bring your customers, bring your audience back to your services, to your products. And it's only going to help you. Thanks for watching. If again, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, really appreciate your support and leave a comment down below about um, some tips and tricks that you use for podcasting. Thanks so much. See you in the next video.